on it. Q4000 is a uh, semi-submersible drilling uh, vessel with the ability to drill into the deep water Gulf of Mexico. We're out here and the water is over a mile deep. It's almost 6,700 feet. You can see out here there are oil platforms where people are producing uh, oil and gas. We're using these industry platforms uh, to explore for a new form of energy called methane hydrates. So methane hydrate is basically uh, methane gas and under the right conditions, it can be trapped in, in ice. So it's kind of like a, a natural gas snow. You know, one liter of methane hydrate down below the seafloor, when you bring it up here, is 160 liters of methane. We think that this material is gonna be able to produce methane at a rate that might be rapid enough to be economic at some point. This methane hydrate is what we call a bridge fuel to uh, maybe a carbon-free uh, society. That, that ice is not stable at this temperature and pressure. And if you bring it up to the surface, it's basically gonna melt and the methane's gonna escape and it'll be left with just water. This is fundamentally an engineering test to make sure that we are capable of drilling, coring, and then analyzing these cores. These are cores uh, that are brought to the surface under the same conditions at which they are found naturally. And that core um, is going to be captured inside um, what we call a, a pressure core barrel. And then you've got to seal that metal barrel with what we call a ball valve because you want to keep it at its pressure. And then you've got to reach down and you've got to pull that uh, core barrel all the way to the surface. We need to know how much methane is in these cores, whether these are viable cores to give us a good picture of what we want to learn about. You want to study those cores out here with x-rays and sampling devices, all of which work at extremely high pressures. The reality is it's, it's difficult, um, but we are getting some good results, and we're really excited about the progress that we are making. Hey, y'all stop, y'all stop, y'all are good. There's no way you can get this lit so I get it in the bathroom, y'all are good. That's good enough for me. Good job, guys. We just pulled a, a core out of the hole that was under pressure and uh, represents our, our, our first success out here. You look at this rig and it seems pretty big, but there's, there's more than 100 people on this rig. We have scientists from the uh, Department of Energy. We have a professor from Ohio State. We have uh, scientists from Columbia. We have this UK organization, Geotech, who are world experts in pressure coring. You know, all these people think in a different way. And uh, it's, I think, helped me become a better a researcher and scientist. As you can see, it's about eight o'clock out here on the rig. Uh, I just got up, uh, just got seven hours of sleep, which was a great change. Once you get adjusted to rig life, it's actually pretty fun. Everyone here is kind of like a little family in a way. <laughs> Everyone's on 12 to 12 shifts. We have about 30 to 45 minutes twice a day of overlap. You got 12 hours to pull it together and hand it off to the next shift. Some of us are coming on and we're wide awake and chipper and the others like, don't talk to me, I haven't had my coffee yet. And that's one of the challenges out here is trying to, trying to keep it together over 14 days. I'm really excited to see the students out here and the scientists working together and thinking about this problem. I think it's an unbelievable opportunity. 
I'm seeing things I've read in textbooks. I'm like developing new ideas and thinking and talking to people who I never would ever come in contact with. I'm very happy to have the uh, opportunity to come to UT and work with Dr. Peter Fleming's. They are rubbing shoulder to shoulder with some of the, uh, the world leaders in, in this science in an intense collaborative environment that is just not the same as, as when you're back on the beach. Something like this makes uh, young people's careers. This really is high risk science. We're jamming a tiny straw through over a mile of water through a half a mile of rock and trying to pull up 10 feet of ice. It's extraordinarily difficult to arrive to the point where you're actually out here taking course. We did it and uh, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> you know, you come on here and the plan was to get 20 cores. And so you have this expectation because you've been playing this for so long that you're gonna come back with 20 cores. You don't stop to think about how difficult this really is. Today, UT has the only uh, university-based facility that can study these cores under pressure. We are gonna be where everything comes back to. You know, for the first year, all the data, all the experiments, all that gets co-published with everyone involved, but all that's gonna come through the University of Texas. There aren't many schools that can mount the type of expeditions that we do at the Jackson School. We will be back out here in either 2019 or in 2020. We're gonna be out here for 70 days uh, doing this all over again. This is the start of a, a, a long-term commitment by the Department of Energy and the Jackson School and the University of Texas to studying this resource. I'm really excited for the science that's going to come out of this because it's going to be really special. For a professor who has a little office in the Jackson School to be out here and be the guy in charge of saying, okay, we're going to core here or we're going to drill the well here uh, is uh, quite humbling. We're going to find things out that we don't know. And so a year from now, I'm gonna know things that no one knew today. Uh, that's just, that's cool. That's really exciting for me.